Hi, Claude Pallon, Affiliate Starting Line. This is a short video on the continuation of the C panel. And we'll take a look at each individual panel per video, see what it does. So when you get into your C panel, and it's coming up here, um, it'll look something like this. I picked a C a beach theme, so uh, just to give you an idea, <clears throat> you can go into the preferences, preferences, click change style, find a style, click it, go back, go to home, and I just changed the style to this uh, classic CPL. If I want to change uh, something a little more interesting, uh, I come down here. I like to the, go to the beach. We're in summer. Let's take a summer theme. And there's the beach style. That's how you pick styles. In the preferences panel, just go to change style and play with it. Email. Let's take a look at email. Email uh, has a series of options. Looks like there are 14 options. The ones you really want to pay attention to will be initially email accounts. This is where you come and set up your accounts. You, you can uh, select which of the domains you want to create the, your email account for. So uh, here's a training account that I had for Acai Burn. I could have support at Acai Burn, etc. Set up the passwords set and uh, create the account and you're done and you've created your account that's how uh, you create an email account webmail is where you go in and select which email software you want your email to use there's h-o-r-d-e Horde, Squirrel Mail, Round Cube, there are a bunch of them. Uh, you can configure a mail client, that is you can send it to your uh, Outlook or any, uh, any other mail client you use, uh, Thunderbird, Box Trapper. This uh, captures spam and you can set up the account to catch spam and uh, you can reroute. So and if you go into your accounts, you'll see them appear here. On the left hand side will be a sidebar that will have not only the email accounts you've created, but also folders where you can put mail, etc. Uh, and, and that's how the webmail operates. Um, I have one, two, three, four email accounts going here and various um, folders that I put things in. You, you have an inbox, draft sent, you can purge. Uh, Spam with you know if it's in there just click the purge button and this is where you come and see what your email is uh, Let's take a look at the supported affiliate starting line. You can see here. I'm getting uh, some stuff about uh, uh, Some emails that I've got etc. So that's that's the email Webmail Let's go back to home Okay, Box Trapper is a uh, spam catcher. I've got it enabled on two emails account. I haven't enabled it on the other th three. Um, if you do set it up, however, you want to make sure that you go in and check your spam cap capture screen to see if there's any legitimate email that might have been captured there. Spam Assassin, uh, this is, again, a, uh, a, a, a a spam capturing software that does it overall I guess over all of them spam assassin is an automated email filtering system that attempts to identify spam messages based on the content of the headers and then you can just go into your trash bin to check them make sure that all of it in there it is indeed trash so that's automatically enabled by default forwarders this is how you set up and forward your email if you want to forward email from any of your email boxes this is where you do it autoresponders if you want an autoresponder uh, 
for example, I have one here. Somebody sends support to my mainframe. I give, I have a thank you uh, message that goes right back and thanks them. This is where you add uh, the autoresponder and you you create the message. Uh, you you t tell it uh, how you want to set it up. You select which email address again you want to uh, have the autoresponder set up for, and you're home to ready to go. Uh, default address. The de this is a feature I haven't enabled it. Uh, so that one I haven't. I wouldn't mess with. Uh, mailing lists. If you do have mailing lists, this is where you'll keep them. You can filter your email uh, depending on uh, how uh, how secure you want your email account. You can uh, you can e uh, do it either at a total a global level or for each account that you have. That's what that is. Email delivery route. This uh, will tell you how your mail server will treat a message when sending or, or uh, to or delivering a specific address. If you enter an address on the server, it shows how the mail server will deliver mail to that address. If you enter an address that exists somewhere other than the server, it will show you how the mail server will attempt to send to that address. So it will show you whether or not you can get your email there. Uh, email authentication, that is a feature that um, is to make sure that the information that you're getting is from a verifiable uh, account. Uh, and again, it, it helps fight the spread of, the spread of, of, of spam. Uh, you usually set authentication at, at, at a global level so that your email account is you know, authenticated uh, and uh, is allowed to be accepted by other email systems. So that's the, the mail panel. The main things you want to be aware of is the email accounts and the webmail, how to get in. The rest of this, uh, you, you have, over time, you can, you can figure out how to, autoresponders can come in handy. Um, I, I tend to use another autoresponder called AWeber. That's what I recommend instead of using uh, the autoresponder system in here. So that's it. This is a short uh, video about the mail panel on cPanel. This is Claude Line Affiliate Starting Line. Have a good one. Stay with it. Stay well. Talk to you soon.